Today I'm going to talk about some improvements to looking at Python documentation I've been working on in Emacs. When I'm writing code, I like to get straight to documentation without leaving Emacs because uh, I find it disruptive to open a browser and, and then from a browser I can't really get back to Emacs uh, in the way that I'm uh, accustomed to. So I use PyDoc as a way to read the Python documentation and one way I got that into Emacs was this little function here called PyDoc. So all this does is run a shell command, python-m pydoc with a name, and inserts it into a buffer. Let's check it out. asc.calculators.vasp is a module that, that we use, and you can see here it just creates the exact output of pydoc. It's all black, the text is all dead. Uh, I mean, I can search for things like get atoms and see where it is, so that's pretty convenient, but I can't do very much from here. I was interested in something more functional, and so I decided to create a, a new Python module called PyDoc. So let's take a look at, at what this looks like. So this is just uh, an Emacs list library that takes that uh, output of PyDoc and does a lot of syntax highlighting and starts to make a lot of things clickable so that I can click on files for example uh, so this will open the file and open the source it makes URLs into links it does things like make package links uh, which I'll show you and it colorizes a lot of things uh, so that it's easier to read so at the very bottom we just have again uh, a new PyDoc function so let's load the library. And now let's run PyDoc again. Now we have the same thing, except I can click on this link and go straight to the source. The some of the variables are uh, color coded, so environment variables are green, strings are green, hyperlinks are alive. These class methods are alive. I can click on this. I can click on this and run PyDoc on, on that particular class. Go back. Each of these are alive as well. So if I wanted to go straight to the source code for something, like say get BZK points, then I can see that that is not actually implemented and it needs a doc string. I could fix that right there. Um, here, is another example. Let's say get Fermi level. Let's actually just add one. Like that, you can save it. And it doesn't automatically update, but if I if I run this again. You can see there is my new uh, new doc string. So it does a lot of things of, of that sort. It color codes uh, parameter values and their types. Uh, like I said, it opens all of the links uh, to, to different places. And this has been a, a work in progress, but this is the, the future of Python documentation uh, for us. So that's the new, uh, new PyDoc module.